my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor with Get to Know the Thyroid Gland. How are we going to treat it? What's the solution for subpar or hyperthyroid function? First, always make sure that you have a thyroid profile done. TSH, T3, T4, and TPO. Once you have those blood tests determined and you're looking at them and you have them right now, and that's okay to get your own blood test. If your levels are less than the midline, this is what you need to do. What I have found from my experience, most people who have a low thyroid today are overexposed to bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. You say, Dr. Bob, it's inevitable. I'm going to have too much chlorine. I take a shower every day. I drink water. I have fluoride treatments. Well, I want you to know this. It's not a bad idea because every day, more than likely, you're taking a shower in a 5x5 five five glass room, which is a gas chamber. And that chlorine is toxic to your thyroid gland. I would suggest that you may evaluate and think about getting a shower dechlorinator. We use them in our home. We have them available to our patients. They're on our website. It's really important to take the chlorine out of the shower because you're literally breathing in chlorine gas. Let's say that you swim in a pool that has chlorine or bromine or a hot tub. I would encourage you to have those blood tests done like I suggested. And if your levels are less than midline, that means less than the halfway point, you're going to want to start taking some iodine. We use a product called Iodozyme. Iodozyme is an organic iodine with another aspect of it called iodide. Your thyroid gland and every cell in your body, this might be new news to you, requires iodine, especially ladies for your breast, ovaries, and men with their testicles. All those areas require iodine. But when it comes to the thyroid gland, if your thyroid gland is subpar, you want to start taking the iodine very slowly. We usually have our patients cut their iodine tablet in half and take six milligrams a day for a week or two. And the reason is if you have toxicity from bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, you could have a skin rash, headache, metal taste in your mouth. Those are body signals of your body dumping out bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. You also may find that fluoride is in your toothpaste or fluorine is in your toothpaste and also in your drinking water. Recently, the U.S. government reduced the amount of fluoride that's being released in the water because you may actually have, and if you look at your teeth, something called fluorosis. That's when your teeth are literally mottled, they're discolored. If you have discolored teeth and any of the body signals that I mentioned on prior videos when it comes to thyroid function, you're going to want to have an assessment and start taking iodine slowly. Bromine is also found in white, bre in white bread and in certain sports drinks, I need you to become label savvy. If you see bromine, fluorine, and chlorine in any of those products and you have cold hands and cold feet, headaches that go away as the day goes on, that means if you wake up with a headache in the morning and then it goes away, constipation, elevated cholesterol, and even depression, those are all body signals of a low thyroid. I supplement my patients with at least 12 milligrams of iodine every day. I've had some people that have needed up to 50 milligrams of iodine. We also support liver function using dandelion root and or uh, milk thistle. And sometimes we use a product called tyrosine. Tyrosine is an amino acid that's also a natural antidepressant, but tyrosine and iodine when combined together make thyroid hormone. There's a few other nutrients that we might use. We actually may use something that's called a glandular product. It's actually thyroid tissue from an animal that we will supply our patients to help thyroid function, especially if their TSH is elevated. If your TSH is elevated, we know that your thyroid gland is not responding to stimulation from the pituitary gland. This is very serious. What I have found from my experience that if your thyroid gland is not up to par, you have a greater tendency to have constipation. And people who are constipated 
tend to have compromised liver function. And when you have compromised liver function, you're not going to function optimally. And I see that ladies who have subpar thyroid function and have issues with depression also statistically from my experience may in fact have a greater chance to have breast issues including cyst and breast cancer. So where do you go and where do you start? TSH, T3, T4, TPL. Have those assessed. You may in fact need iodine, L-tyrosine, flax oil or essential fatty acids, liver support, sometimes we may in fact need to add selenium and manganese. You always want to make sure that you're working with a skilled, experienced health care provider, preferably a drugless health care provider. I do not have a license to tell you to go off Synthroid and I don't want you to go off of Synthroid unless you logically make appropriate lifestyle changes. If your TPO is elevated, this is a very potentially serious health challenge and you always want to make sure that you're coached by the right health care provider. You do not necessarily want them to take your thyroid gland out. I have too many patients come into my office that have lost a half or their entire thyroid. We've also had patients that have gone to a compounding pharmacist. Here's what I've learned. The best pharmacist is already inside of your body. If you feed the body right, your body will do whatever it can to have optimal thyroid function. Don't stop taking your medications because the thyroid is very critically important for calcium metabolism and your overall metabolism in your body. It helps your basal metabolic rate. Make sure you take the time, watch this video as often as you can. I am Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.